you were looking at Minecraft being played inside of Terraria. Well, at least being displayed inside Terraria. I have turned this Terraria world into a digital display, capable of displaying pictures, videos, and even different games. And in this video, I'll show you how. So many of you commented on my last video, File Storage in Minecraft, that this would also be possible inside of Terraria. And you're absolutely right. Using the same method of substituting different blocks for bytes, you'd also be able to super easily store files inside of Terraria worlds. The code would be almost identical, except being written in C-sharp rather than Java, as well as reducing the third dimension back down to two. But I wanted to do something far cooler and more involved than just file storage. So I decided to create a visual display inside of a Terraria world. The first aspect of this I decided to implement was storing pictures. PNG file formats seemed the easiest to me as I thought they were just a pixel mapping of an image. But boy was I wrong. They actually involve a really smart implementation of compression, shortening their final space on your disk, but this comes at the price of being harder to directly convert to a 2D pixel grid. So I did the only thing I possibly could do, creating my own file format, which I have so lovingly dubbed .chum which stands for Certifiably Horrendously Uncompressed Media. The way this file format is arranged is really simple. The first four bytes are the width and height of the image in pixels. For example, 020040 would represent a 20 by 40 image, while a 1010 would represent a 256 by 256 image. This gives us a maximum possible image size of about 65,000 by 65,000, which is more than enough. After that, I store three bytes per pixel, one for red, one for green, and one for blue. Since I'm displaying this file in Terraria, and Terraria blocks can't be opaque, I decided to discard the alpha value associated with each pixel. So one pixel of our image takes up three bytes. I then created a Python script that uses the pillow library to convert a PNG image to its resulting chum format. Now in Terraria, we just have to set up two for loops that loop over our width and height that we declared in the header of our chum file. But how do we convert an RGB triple to a corresponding Terraria block? Well, we have to define a palette of blocks, but we also have to know the block's RGB value. To do this, I downloaded a bunch of Terraria block sprites, analyzed their average RGB values with another Python script, then created a table that held the block along with its average color. Well, we now know the color of different Terraria blocks, but since there's 256 cubed possible RGB colors, we have to make the best approximation for a conversion between an RGB value and a Terraria block. The way I did this was to treat the RGB triple as a 3D vector and find the block that had the smallest Euclidean distance from the triple in its average RGB value. So, we loop over the entire palette, find the block that has the smallest difference in color, then use that for the corresponding RGB triple from our chum file. There's probably a quicker way that's more accurate to do this, but this is the only way I could think of doing it intuitively. That was easy enough, we can now store pictures as blocks inside of Terraria. All we have to do is put the chum file associated with our image in our mod directory and right click this picture frame. As you can see, I've absolutely desecrated this world with random testing, tweaking the palette along the way. But these are still just static images, how do we convert video? Well, I decided to start off with GIFs. We could split up the GIF into all its different frames, then convert the frames to their chum format. Then in Terraria, all we have to do is sequentially display each picture. And bam, we have GIFs playing inside of Terraria. From there, we have the ability to sequentially display different chum files, so setting up a way to display a game is pretty trivial. Again, we write another Python script that takes a screenshot of Minecraft every X amount of seconds, downsize that screenshot to make it quicker to display, convert that downsized screenshot to its chum counterpart, then display that with the blocks in Terraria. Now we can play Minecraft inside of Terraria, but there's a huge problem. And no, it's not that it's extremely slow and looks terrible, that was something completely expected. When tabbed out of Terraria, the logic of the mod slows down by about 75% and the map doesn't always update completely. And to play Minecraft, we have to be tabbed into that window. With this project, I really wanted to try to complete various objectives in Minecraft in Terraria, but this makes it completely impossible. I even asked the Tmod Discord community about fixes to this, and after I promised I wasn't trolling, one person said to check the source code. Since I'm brand new to Terraria modding, that's something that would have taken me far too long to even begin to understand. So, it's over. Or is it? That's when, somewhere deep inside of me, a light bulb turned on. I need a way of controlling Minecraft whilst being tabbed into Terraria. And something I've noticed with most games is that even while tabbed out, the game continues to read controller input. The only problem is Minecraft Java doesn't have controller support. 
but of course there's a mod for this, so I quickly installed it and prayed it would keep registering my controller inputs after tabbing out. Alright, I got the controller mod loaded up. I'm really praying that when I tab out, it will keep recognizing the input. I'm nervous for this, honestly. Come on. Oh yes, what a rush! I was ecstatic, even though I would be forced to play Minecraft with the controller, which was somehow worse than playing it on a 90p screen inside of a different game at about 2 FPS. So the only thing left to do was to open Terraria and start displaying Minecraft. Alright, here we are. We are loaded in Terraria. I got Minecraft on my other monitor. And then all we have to do is start running the script to take screenshots of Minecraft. Perfect. Now all we have to do is right click the picture frame and there she is. Can, can go into the map to see it a little better. And we should be able to control Minecraft with the controller while we're tabbed in, so let's check. <sighs> yep, there's another problem. Terraria has native controller support and, inconveniently, has no way inside the menus to disable controller input. I tried disabling all button mappings in Steam controller options, didn't work. I tried mapping every button to the same unused button, didn't work. I tried plugging in a second controller to use with Minecraft, I don't have a second controller. It seemed all hope was lost until I literally did one Google search and this guy had solved the problem. All I had to do was disable controller support in a config file. And it's working! So many Roblox made me think this sort of thing wasn't possible, but here we are. So let's play it. I have one goal in mind, and that is to mine diamonds. I would say beat the game, but in its current state, there's absolutely no way that's even going to be close to possible. So let's get going. And we're here. A couple things I'll start off with to uh, begin with is that Minecraft has to be the top window on my second monitor or else my game capture script doesn't work. So I will have to cover up my monitor with a shirt and I've also put a mirror behind me so you guys can see my second monitor so you know I'm not cheating. But I think it'll be very apparent that I'm playing the Terraria version. Um, also, you'll see Minecraft, the actual Minecraft in the top right. Um, only you guys can see that. That's only going to be captured in OBS. So anyways, let's move along with it. I will start the Terraria mod, and there we go. I can see it, and I'm playing inside of Terraria. So I will generate a new world and try to... So you can see there's a fair bit of input lag here. I'm just going to go with default settings. And... Here we are. I do not know what I'm looking at. It looks like grass, actually. First things first, got to get some wood, of course. So you can see the contrast in the dark is not very good. So I think crushes, oh, I think torches will be integral to this, especially if we're going to go try to find some diamonds. I haven't played Minecraft on a controller since my Xbox 360, so... This is going to be the experience for me. can't believe I'm subjecting myself to this. Alright, pickaxe of course is the first work of order. Also, it's not in peaceful at the moment. I might have to turn that on if mobs are that bad, but at the moment I think it'll be more fun not to do peaceful. Of course, to improve visibility on the low light situations, we can expand our palette. But we have to keep in mind that for every pixel that is being displayed, we have to loop through our entire entire palette. So with every block you expand the palette, it's going to increase, you know, the amount of computations needed for each pixel. So that's one extra Euclidean distance to calculate, um, which isn't too much if you just add like one or two. But if you like double the size of the palette, it's going to start getting even worse performance than it is currently, which I think we need all that we can get right now, honestly, because this is really painful. Okay, stone pickaxe achieved. So I'm just going to rush straight down and try to get diamonds. Well, I have no idea how much wood that is. Hopefully we find iron soon, though. Where do we mine down? 
Okay, you know what? I'm going straight down. First rule of Minecraft is to always dig straight down. For my palette, I try to choose a wide variety of colors and brightness. Oh! <gasps> okay, well, we found coal at least. I am... Oh, I keep hitting that for the... Let's put ourselves in the box here. I have no idea what that block is. I think... We're gonna have to switch to peaceful here. Oh! <laughs> Yo, well, that's not gonna work. Oh, I found coal! You know what, I think I might have to just turn on a Fulbright mod, and I will be right back. Alright, you know what, we don't need the Fulbright, whatever. Alright, let's keep it going. We did get a piece of coal though, I think, so we can make a torch, so sticks I think. Just one piece of coal. There we go, baby! Oh, beautiful. Another piece of coal. Yes, sir. Also, it's turned on peaceful mode. Because I'm a pansy. And I don't want to be here for 10 years. Okay, so we should have seven torches, I believe. So let's go down. Also, run back and get my old torches, but almost certainly get lost. So I don't know if this. This is the update that has all the deep, deep slate stuff, or whatever it's called. But I know you have to mine a lot deeper to find diamonds, I think. Oh, you know what? I'm mining straight down again, whatever. Zach, couldn't mine it? Oh, copper again? Come on, dude. I think we're gonna run out of wood, to be honest. I should've gotten some more. Okay, here we go. The mine down strat is about to be in full effect. What is that? Is that... Can't be iron, right? No idea. I don't think it's iron, though. Unfortunately. I hear lava. Okay, I don't think... Any of this is iron. I I think we're getting closer to the lava, though. I hear it getting louder. Oh! We've made it, boys. I'm really nervous around it, though. What's this? Is this gold? Oh, that's redstone. I don't need that. Okay, dude. It's starting to get not funny. Where's my iron? I don't see any iron. I mean, it doesn't help that the screen is horrible, but... Alright, backtracked. Got my torches. No iron in there, I don't think. So, I'm just gonna... Turn around and go this way. Oh, where is my iron? I must have missed some. I might just restart this and try to do the cave way. Because this is not working out. Goodbye, cruel world. Yes, sir. So this time I'll get a little more wood just so I'm not stressing about it. really hope I'm recording. I'm going to check that, actually. One quick peek. I'm recording. Okay. Man, playing with a controller sucks. I don't know how console people do it. This night contrast is rough. That's chicken. Hello. Sucka. Yeah, I'll, I'll dig into this little hill right here, hopefully get some stone, yeah. So let's keep trying to find a cave, or a ravine, perhaps. Is that a village? I think that's a village. Oh, we can sleep the night away, too. We just have to kick someone out of their bed. I think it's almost... Oh, and free torches, alright. <gasps> what do you got? I have no idea what these are. Let's... Is that some... I think that's leather armor right there. Is this a helmet? 
I will be taking your bed though, child. Thank you. I'm sorry. Right, what do you got for sale, big boy? Stop running from me, dude. Is that the golem? Oh, that's a house. Oh, is that the golem? <gasps> yes! Oh, it's perfect. I know using a pickaxe here is not ideal, but I don't feel like crafting an axe. Oh, yes. Okay, so this looks like a cave. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going down here. No way did I just go down to half a heart there. I am actually so lucky. Okay, now I think I'm going to start strip mining. So I'll save my iron pick for the diamonds. This is going to be a painfully slow process, but... Okay, so I think we're at deep slate level again. wonder what this looks like on the actual game. I probably look like such a doofus right now. You know what? I'm feeling lucky right now. I think we're going to get diamonds soon. Is that bedrock? I think it is bedrock, right? Okay, now we're definitely at bedrock. Alright, time to find some diamonds. Time to strip. <gasps> no, no, no. That's gonna burn, I gotta get out of here. I really hope we find it soon here, because <laughs> this is painful. Man, it doesn't really help that all of this stone is so dark, it has no contrast to it. Man, I really want to use my iron pickaxe, but if it breaks before we get diamonds, I would never forgive myself. Because I don't think we've found any iron yet. Somehow. When we find diamonds, I assume it'll be pretty obvious since the blue will stick out like a sore thumb, but... And with that, I'm going to take a break. I am actually going insano. So I'll be back after I get some munch. I'm back. I am ready to find these diamonds. Oh, I wish I could say I was looking forward to it, but let's do it. As you can see, if I have OBS over my Minecraft window, you can just see my OBS. So this is actually my face right now. Dude, come on. I think it's actually a good thing I don't get it because it'll just clutter my inventory. Oh, forgot to turn on god mode. The reason I die is because I have um, hellstone bricks in our palette. And if you've ever played Terraria before, you know hellstone burns you when you touch it. Unless you have the obsidian skull, of course. I wonder if it'd actually be easier to play like this. This almost looks better, to be honest. I think it's I think it's easier seeing the map. The inventory looks a lot better. I mean, not by much, but I'm slowly losing my mind. Probably be scanning the ceiling. Whatever. It's for 
for nerds, probably, I think. Oh, goody, it's torch pickup time. Oh, I'm so excited. Please let me craft another stone pickaxe soon, too, please. Hey, redstone. Dude, doing this is like seriously making me rethink my life decisions up to this point. And I really hope I have blue blocks in the palette. I, I'm pretty sure I do, so they look blue, but if I walked by diamonds and I see it later in the footage, I will forever hate myself. I'm going to pull out a really niche reference here. The making of this kind of reminded me of... Um, even know if it's still up anymore. This one super old Captain Sparkle sponsored video where it was like AT and T or Verizon or some phone some phone company, and they were able to like FaceTime inside Minecraft blocks, and it kind of looked like this. So I'm guessing this is kind of how they did it. <laughs> I mean, obviously, people that coded that are probably a hell of a lot better programmers than I am, but I'm proud of myself. You guys have no idea how tempting it is to just make a cut, swap to creative, place some diamonds in front of me, and then be like, oh, I found them. Because this is ruining me right now. It's ruining me. But that would be so beyond mega lame that I'm not going to do that. Get a hoe, dude. Oh my god. I've gotten a lobotomy. Wake up, honey. It's time to pick up your torches. I'm recording, right? Okay, thank god. This is why I haven't been using my iron pick. I would have most certainly broken by now, and I need to. I need to save that bad boy for some diamonds. I'm gonna start crying here in a sec, dude, to be honest. Out of pure frustration. No way we found emeralds. Wait. No way. Can it be? Yes! And that does it. Thanks to all the kind people in the Tmod Discord server, this project couldn't have been possible without them. It's full of brilliant people making amazing mods. I'd highly recommend checking it out, even if you're just looking for programming help. And thanks to my buddy, Jin601, for all the music during the gameplay segment. He's super talented and produces all sorts of music, so I encourage you to check out his links in the description. You won't regret it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I put tons of work into it. And I feel... <laughs> And I feel cringe for asking this, but if you enjoyed the video, subscribe. We all know how the computer science market is right now, which I unfortunately just got a degree in, and despite an extreme amount of effort for myself to find a stable job in the field, it has been fruitless. So YouTube is currently my only form of income. If you have any questions, tips, feedback, or suggestions for future projects, I'd love to hear. I'll try to get back to as many comments as I can. Also, if you'd like to get this up and running in your Terraria world, all the code will be provided on my GitHub in the description. I won't be posting this mod to the Steam Workshop, as it requires so much more than just the mod itself to operate, and it also deletes files in a certain folder, and if set up wrong, has the ability to delete other files on your disk, which I don't want to be liable for. If you need extra help getting it up and running, I'd be happy to help, and am even considering putting an unlisted tutorial in the description at some point if you guys want or need it. And that about does it. If you got here, you're awesome, and hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!